And welcome back. Will Worsham joins us now for this week's Speaking Legal Discussion. Good to see you, Good as see you always. Hi, Howdy. You ready? I'm ready. Let's take a look at today's question. <clears throat> My son was arrested for DWI over the holidays. He's a good kid, and I don't want to ruin his future. I don't want it to ruin his future. What, if anything, can be done? And I notice all kids are good kids. Well, sure they are, you know? <laughs> it is what it is. And as, as you know, we get a lot of this this time of year. Yeah, you know, I would imagine. It's, it's what happens. And I mean, the good news is, yeah, there's stuff that can be done. Um, the, the legal system can be harsh, it can be unforgiving, and all of those things, but it's not without a, a totally without a heart. Yeah. And so, if you're talking about a kid here, or really anybody, if it's our first go around and we've not really had a lot of legal experience running with the law and the police, then there are situations where there's the opportunity for some grace mm -hmm. to be sure. extended. Nice. And, and this is probably one of them. When we're talking about kids, uh, judges usually understand youthful indiscretions mm -hmm. and making mistakes. Now, right. there's a lot about this situation that we just don't know. I was going to say, right, right. That's, there's not a lot of info it's open here. Ended, there are people of. that I know that call me a kid, and I'm almost 45, and so, <laughs> you know, I mean, I want to make sure. One. We, that's one. <laughs> we want to be talking about somebody that's probably you're still relatively college age, is what I'm envisioning here, yeah. that hasn't gone mm -hmm. through the process. You know, they're going to be looking for a job and some things like that, and a conviction, a criminal conviction, is going to be something that could be a problem. Mm -hmm. Most places, not everywhere, and it varies by jurisdiction, that's either a city or a county where a ticket is pending, uh, are going to be a factor in determining what type of results going to happen there. The other thing we can't completely ignore here as a defense attorney is just because you get arrested for a DWI, just mm -hmm. because you get a ticket, doesn't mean you're guilty. Right. And doesn't okay. mean that you should be found guilty. And I think that DWI is one of those areas where a lot of lawyers uh, rush to judgment just as much as everybody else does and says, well, you got the ticket, let's talk about, you know, how what's going to happen when you plead guilty. That's not where you want to start. Right. Um, not everybody is guilty just because they're accused. And so you always got to make sure that you're starting at the point, what are the facts of this case? Mm -hmm. Right. You know, is, is this really a case where we need to be talking about the sentence or is this one where we need to be talking about is this person really guilty or not? Mm -hmm. So that's the first place to start. But okay. to get back to the question, we need to get an attorney really fast. Mm -hmm. You know, we've got people coming into our office this week for yep. stuff that happened last mm -hmm. week. There's a 15-day trigger on some of these things when you get a DWI. If you wait, if you wait 15 days before you take action, you start losing your rights to fight about pieces oh, of the case. Really? So you want to get right in. Uh, okay. and all that. So be quick. Yeah, and then the other thing is if we're talking about mitigating some damages here, if we wind up in a sentencing situation later, should do some things to address if there happens to be an alcohol problem at all. First thing I got to tell people right off, tell all my clients, stop drinking right now. Mm -hmm. right. Let's demonstrate that we can be responsible with our alcohol use, and that means we can we can recognize a situation in our lives where we shouldn't be drinking anymore. Prove right. to me right. it was you only had two drinks and it's right. only once in a while. Yeah. Sure, and this is one of them. So yeah. stop drinking right away. So if somebody, a judge, or somebody later asks you, when was the last time you had something to drink? You say, the night I got arrested. That's yes. a great thing to be able to say. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do some things like that, but get a lawyer on the case right away and begin the process of finding out all the information you can. And um, Probably a good but, idea also to know if, like, if it is a younger kid, you know, mm -hmm. college age or whatever, if he's soft soaping dad there, is this the first time oh, he's been pulled yeah. over? Yeah. Right, yeah. Well, that's easily found out with the yeah. resources we have. Because we the first offense isn't... It it's, depends. It can be. And you know, here's the other thing. There's so many angles to look at this. There are first offender DWIs that get in car wrecks and kill people. And oh, that's it's the first yeah, time they've course. ever been in that situation. And so you can't always just look right. at it and go, eh, it's a first offense, no big deal. It's really not, not the course. attitude right. we want to take about right. it. But still, you take a situation where we are in here and you've got a young person that made a youthful mistake. There's a lot that can be done to explain that situation and, and make this a palatable situation going forward. Mm -hmm. Okay. And All be right. sensible about it. Don't don't think that affluenza is necessarily uh, going to work in this area. It absolutely will not. Yeah. It, it, it doesn't work <laughs> yeah, really anywhere, as I think we're finding out. Yeah. Uh, and the other thing is, just don't try to do it yourself. I mean. This is, not, this is not a thing to think I can learn how to do this on the Google or uh, yeah, right. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I mean, you'll you can find out some good information and some sure. bad information there, 
but you know, any this is a criminal prosecution. Anything you can and say can and will be used against you later. So some people will go in and talk to the prosecutor, not get what they want, come and hire us, and the prosecutor pulls out those notes and like, well, your client already told us X, Y, and Z. Right. Yeah. Really help. Really hurts our ability to do what we want to do. And for again, folks. Fine the reason attorney. to call. With Absolutely. Abortion. Yes. <laughs> All right. People want more Thank information you. about you, Will. How you might be able to help. Yeah, we again. are at willwarshamlaw.com, and we're also uh, phone number is eight six three nine four five five. All, All right. right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, Will. You Very bet. good. Now, if you have a legal question for Will, you can email him at wwarsham at color10.com, and he's going to answer the question right on our show. Thanks again, Will. Thanks. Coming yeah. up, Jerry Presley is here to perform for us and tell us about a huge celebration that they're throwing this weekend. So don't go away.